Well, there are a few weeks when professional wrestling doesn't feature among Australia's top rating shows on pay TV. Well, now America's fastest growing wrestling brand is bringing a series of live performances down under and they've been looking for some local talent to get in the ring. It's TMA Wrestling Showcase. Last year, Australia became one of the latest countries to start broadcasting TNA. That stands for total non-stop action if you missed it. Like most shows, what you see is scripted. But this is wrestling, where the performers walk a fine line between artistry and insanity. Look at this! Oh, the Earlier this week, the company announced it was bringing a string of live shows to Australia. But there's a twist. We are going to find um, five different Australians, one for each show, one for each state, and they're going to be a part of the show. We're going to find out if uh, some people have the it factor. That turned Sydney's Martin Place into a playground for the good, the bad, and, well, you know the rest. A third-generation wrestler himself, Jeff Jarrett says those who succeed could end up on the TNA roster permanently. But he says wrestling is not an easy road. you got to want to do this because it's not easy. If you really don't want to do this and have a deep, burning desire to do this, you'll fail miserably. Christy Hemi managed to break into the business by winning a similar talent search in 2004. I was so nervous. I didn't know what I was going to do or anything like this. But people in this business, I think they can see, I mean, Jeff is going to be able to see and I'm going to be able to see beyond what the nerves are going on. And as you can see, there is no shortage of Australians who would love to step in a TNA ring. Managers, commentators, referees and both male and female wrestlers have travelled from around Australia to audition. And their dreams are almost as big as their personalities. Oh, oh, it's going to be the best thing ever. I've been training my entire life for this one moment. Actually, I've been sleeping on park benches and living on barbecued squirrels. But either way, I think I'm ready for anything. I crush him like a bug, which is what I do to all my opponents. So, you know, I'm a shoe in. This is really what I live for. I love this. I love wrestling. It's my passion. Even reporters love it, although announcing seemed a safer option. Moshe in the middle of the ring. Oh, Saints of the Macho Man. Three, About 70 hopefuls turned up for the Sydney tryouts. Some were contenders, others were pretenders but all share the same dream of becoming a big hit in the industry. What do you do for a living? I'm actually a professional dancer. I work in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I break the bones and then I put them back together. I'm a warehouse operations coordinator. With only a handful of spots available, most won't be able to give up their day jobs just yet. Manny Tigas, World News Australia. Coming up next, some real sport with Craig Foster.